And taking the tip for Georgia Southern, Carlos Curry against Tafari Gapari. And it's belonged to the Yellow Jackets. That's Debo Coleman has just checked in for the first time tonight. Another returner for the Yellow Jackets, one of four on scholarship. And he triggers a three, burying it. But everyone on this team, six foot three or taller, so there is some good size, some good length in that, you know, six foot six to six foot nine range. Three pointer, Abrams drains it. But that's okay. That's two consecutive stops defensively in the easy transition offensive looks. That's the trend you want to see if you're Coach Stoudemire. Moore gets his man in the air and takes it to the basket. He wanted contact, but he's got a bucket tied at 12. Sturdivant, three-pointer off the bounce. Kyle Sturdivant looking like the guy we saw at the end of last season. And got his feet set, rocked the defense back, got him on their heels, and then knocked it down. High percentage three from the top of the key for Sturdivant. Looking for an answer, Brian, a chance for a four-point play. Defensive was like, hey, is he really going to pull this? You know, not a lot of scouting report and film out yet, and bam. Three-pointer a moment ago. And it's ripped away. Gapari, Eurostep, and to Tafara Gapari. The agility, the finesse, the sidestep. Beautiful action. If you talk about ceiling on this team, John, he might have the most of it of anybody. I saw it right there. I'm a believer. Transfer from UMass, product of New Zealand. Cam Bryant can't hit that three-pointer. Right, let's look at this. The size, the grace, the ability to... Tech just 5 of 20 from the floor so far tonight. They started 1 of 10, though. And Duana gets the block that time. Oh. Yeah, and Bradford had time. He just moved right at the end. Bryant's now got six. Leads all scorers. Kelly, a little no-look corner. Reeves hits it. Miles Kelly throwing the dime. Just a, on the rope right to the corner. Great assist on that possession. Unselfish play. It's now four threes for Tech. Kelly looking to run, taking on Bryant, puts a move on him, and rolls it off the fingertip. Yeah, Carl Hobbs, associate head coach, longtime head coach at George Washington University. And what a move that time! And a little too small there. It's going to be on Miles Kelly. That's his second. Yellow Jackets have left seven points at the free throw line, the eight of 15. A lot of those misses coming early, you know, new season jitters. Great move from Claude in the two hand jam. Lob entry, cross court, the extra pass to Coleman. He drains it. Debo Coleman. You know, the last eight games of last season, a lot of people forget he averaged 13 points and six assists in those final eight games. Best stretch of his Tech career. Coleman got it! Oh, that was pure. The Jackets have six seconds to shoot here out of the inbounds pass. Kelly lets it fly, and he gets it! That Camp Bryant mismatch right there, but look at this. The poise, the step back, just enough space. Georgia Tech had eight turnovers in the first half. They've done a marginally better job taking care of the basketball here in the second. And there's a turnover forced by Tech. Sturdivant and Debo Coleman with the hammer. Georgia Tech needed a spark off the bench, and that's a spark right there. The Kelly down the lane. What a move, Miles Kelly. Oh. And a turnover, Reeves, the Yellow Jackets out and running. Coleman lays it in. <laughs> Trying to milk a little bit of clock here, perhaps, as we get into the final minutes. Kelly, that's been his spot, and it will continue to be. But, you know, that's going to be a, a market change. If you've watched Georgia Tech basketball the last five years, you're going to see a, a much deeper rotation. Miles Kelly finishing opening night in style. That's the length you're talking about, John. Oh, hey. 
he's a talent. The Yellow Jackets have won five of their last eight season openers, seven straight against in-state opponents, and most importantly, the Damon Stoudemire era begins with a W.